Hey guys and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So in today's After Effects tutorial we are going to talk about how can we create a simple yet creative text intro effect in Adobe After Effects. This will be quite eye-catching effect and uh, you can use it widely anywhere. So first of all we will preview that what we are going to create. Now since you have seen that what we want to create, now let's see that how can we create it. Uh, we have to first go to composition to create a new composition. Now you can name it anything that you want. I'm naming it creative intro. Now keeping the frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of 10 seconds, I hit OK. The next thing I'm going to do is add a text layer. So grab onto your text tool for that and click anywhere on your composition. Now type in any text that you want. I'm typing your text. Now once you are happy with your text, make sure to align its center both horizontally and vertically. Now if you see this kind of option in front of you, then that means you have kept your caps lock key as on which is preventing the view from refreshing. So you have to just turn off your caps lock key and you will see that your text is back in front of you. Now once you have aligned your text, the next thing we are going to do is add a rectangle. So uh, for that you have to go to your shape tool and select the rounded rectangle tool by continuously pressing the letter Q on your keyboard. Now you have to make a rectangle that covers all of your text just like this. Now once you are happy with your rectangle, make sure to align it to the center horizontally and vertically as well. Now for this rectangle, I have chosen a fill as none and a stroke as a solid color. If you want, you can choose any other settings or if you want, you can choose the same settings as well. For the color of the stroke i have chosen a red color with this hexadecimal value and i have kept the stroke width at 20 pixels now the next thing that i'm going to do is go to my shape layer and expand it here you will find a rectangle so expand it go to stroke and in stroke you will find an option of line cap change it type to a round cap and go to add to add trim paths now expand the trim paths and keyframe the value of end at a 0% on the very first frame of your animation. The next thing is that you have to move forward about 15 frames and keyframe the value of end back to 100%. The next thing we are going to do is animate the position of our text. So move backward in time. Around here, we want our text animation to occur. Make sure that your text layer is selected. Go on to your shape tool and uh, press the Q letter on your keyboard to bring up the rectangle tool and create a mask. Make sure it covers all of your text. Now, you have to change the position of this mask. So, grab uh, onto this mask and change its position to a little bit upwards. Okay, so we want it to start from here. Now keyframe it by hitting M on your keyboard while your text layer is selected. Now move forward and bring back this mask back to the place where your text is visible. If you want you can just select both of your keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and easy ease them for a smooth animation. The next thing I'm going to do is add a stroke. So for that, I will move my stylus to around one second in time. Grab onto my pen tool. Just drop a slanting stroke, splitting your two words of text like this. Now, this is the stroke that I am happy with. So I am also going to uh, just expand the shape layer. Go to contents, go to shape one, stroke one and change its line cap to round cap as well. Next, I'm going to add the trim paths, expand it and keyframe the value of end at 0%. Next, moving a few frames forward, I will 
change the value of end back to 100%. After that, we want our layers to split. So for that, you have to go to your layer area, which is present over here. Right click, go to new and select an adjustment layer. Now we have to adjust the position of this adjustment layer so that it only covers this text and this stroke. So we have to just drag it a little bit. And if you want, you can also rotate it by uh, hitting the R in your keyboard. And if you want to see that how much content this layer is covering, you can always go to effects and presets and search for an effect called fill and apply it onto your adjustment layer. Now with this, you can see that how much of the content your adjustment layer is going to cover. Now this is what I am happy with. Once you are happy, you can just change back your zoom back to a fit and delete this fill. Now go to effects and presets and search for an effect called transform. You will find it under this dot, apply it onto your adjustment layer, keyframe the value of position, move forward a few frames in time and change the value of the Y coordinate like this. You can just increase the value of the Y coordinate or decrease it. That is totally up to you, but you have to just manipulate the value of the Y coordinate until you are happy. Now I'm happy with this value. So I'm going to keep it and it will automatically going to add a keyframe. So I'm just going to the very first frame and previewing my animation. Now this is the animation that I have created and it looks pretty cool. But the only thing is that it is moving a little bit slow. So I'm just going to grab all my layers, hit U to bring up the keyframes and adjust the position of these keyframes so that they move a little bit faster. First of all, I'm going to select all of my keyframes and right click, go to keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Now easy easing these keyframes is important as it will help in generating a smooth animation. Now I'm going to grab these keyframes and bring them a little bit closer to one another so that they generate a fast looking animation. Now if we just preview it, now this looks good. The next thing we are going to do is uh, just collapse all of our layers and go to the text to add a new layer. Here type in any text that you want. So now I have added two text layers. One is containing the word text and the other is containing the word here. Now these two will also animate their position once this layer moves upwards. Move forward a few frames in time and make sure your text layer is selected and create a mask for it. Now uh, hit M to bring up the mask path and change its value to around here, keyframe it move forward a few frames and change its value back to here. The same thing you have to do for this here layer. Now if we go to the very first frame and preview whole of our animation, then 
This is our complete animation and it looks pretty cool. So I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial and keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such tutorials. Till then, goodbye.